One of the first cool things about using Ethereum is that you can sign into MetaMask And once you sign into MetaMask, you can sign into multiple websites. So I signed into MetaMask right here and click on my profile. It asks you to sign into MetaMask. I just did, so it just needs to refresh. And it's going to show everything that I have in my wallet from the Ethereum blockchain. The Ethereum blockchain is like the cloud data storage for NFTs. And OpenSea can see it because I signed into my wallet. And they go into this address on Ethereum, which is Etherscan. When you come to Etherscan, you go to Address, Directory, and you can paste the address, and it shows everything that you have and all the transactions that you make. So it's pulling that data and bringing it here. And then you go to Rarible, and they ask you for the same exact information. Once you have your wallet, and you don't even have to sign in, it just automatically connects to your wallet. It will say connected right here to the same wallet, showing the same NFTs slightly differently, a different user interface, a different set of code to display, you know, my collectibles in different ways, but they're all NFTs. They're all, you know, the same image from the same um, people that made them in the first place, like Somnium Space or um, ENS domains, um, Piwo, the artist, uh, different NFTs. So then you can come to uniswap.org sign into Uniswap, start using the app right away. It will connect to my wallet or ask me to connect. Boom, connected. Same wallet. When you click right here, whoops, I thought I was just going to copy my wallet. Oops, well, uh, copy the address, go back to Etherscan. This shows you everything about the address. And it's the same address, takes you to the same information, and it pulls all the data into all of these different websites. So that is one of the coolest things about using Larva Labs is CryptoPunks. Come to CryptoPunks, already connected. So normally I would have had to sign in, create an account, get the email, verify the email, give them all kinds of information on all five or six of these websites. Then once I'm on all of those websites, I'd have to go in and input my credit card Whereas here, I can just use this Ethereum. Um, one of the ways to get Ethereum in is to use your money and go through Coinbase, which is a bit of a process. But the other way is to open up a plain wallet and just come here and start earning. And that's the next thing I'm going to talk about. ICOs were a big craze, uh, which are a standard of ERC20 tokens. The standard is just a, a template that is set up where you can input BELL and create a bell token and choose the quantity and have a million and send them over to yourself. Um, there's no crypto token for CryptoPunks. CryptoPunks are just an NFT, which is a different standard, an ERC721 standard, which is an NFT. Um, all of the tokens are traded on Uniswap, mostly. The fungible tokens, you can take 10 tokens and trade them with another person and it's the exact same 10 tokens. Rarible offers a uh, reward, just like companies offer a reward. So the more you sell and buy things on Rarible, the more you end up with reward points. And the reward points are a RARI token, which is R-A-R-I, um, that you can trade back and forth on this website. So it's a, a free token that they hand out to everybody when they trade things on the website. Um, so that's a reward point. That's a a way of thinking about it, but it's a maximum amount of rewards that will ever be given out. So if Best Buy was to say that we're going to start giving out rewards to everybody on this credit card, but we're only going to give out a million, and from there we're not going to give out any more, and forever it will be a 20% discount for all of our products, then people would start trading them on a separate market and start giving them to other people so they could get the 20% discount because Best Buy is no longer ever going to give the token away. So it's a reward token sort of like that. Um, OpenSea does not have any token, they just allow you to trade the NFTs. And Uniswap has a Uni token that is more of a voting system, a governance token, where the owners of the tokens are allowed to vote on different things, um, updates and changes to the company and um, to the user interface and things like that. And it's a bit of a social thing where people like to own the Uni token to feel like a part of the community. 
um, but there's no ownership in the company. It's still a privately held company, and they're hoping to somehow turn this whole thing over to um, where most of the income from Uniswap doesn't go to a privately held company. It goes to the shareholders of these people, but um, it's tricky waters right now with you know government companies and the SEC and being regulated or not being regulated. So um, as for now, you just have voting power with this token. But there's different use cases for these fungible tokens. The second thing that was created were NFTs that people are creating like this. This NFT is a land NFT. And when I own this NFT in my wallet, Somnium Space can see inside my wallet in Ethereum and they can give me access to this land. So if I go on to, let's see if there's anything built on this land. This is 2631 somniumspace.com slant parcel slant 2631 taking me right to that parcel whatever somebody has built in the past I do not know if there's anything oh there was nothing so it's redirecting me to a popular parcel it'll show me in a second which parcel here we go Somnium Space Parcel 3183. It's an Excel. You can see that they can build all of this. So the person that owns this token in their wallet is allowed to build on here um, where no one else can. I'm not allowed to build in here. They can, so they can buy this token. And when they own the token, they can build inside of it. And the token itself is like a script, open script, closed script at the top and the bottom. So the more you drag and drop things into this, the more it's adding to the script of the token. And when you transfer the token from your wallet to my wallet, my wallet sees everything inside that token as well. And then I can transfer it on Rarible, I can transfer it on OpenSea, um, but I cannot sell it on Uniswap. Uniswap is only for the fungible tokens that are shares of things where you have a million of the token in your wallet and you can trade 100 for 100. These NFTs are traded differently on Rarible and OpenSea uh, that go one at a time. You have to send this one NFT with uni unique criteria um, such as this Excel attribute, um, this unique ID, the fact that it um, is different than medium and small parcels. It doesn't have a waterfront or road marking, but uh, it could. So there's different things that it could have that make it unique and that you have to transfer them one by one. So as you can see, I'm functioning on all five of these websites and I don't have any personal information that I've given yet. Um, I haven't really given out any I can buy and sell. I can mint things on of my own onto Rarible uh, without any money and then sell them to other people, collect that money, and then use my Ethereum to you know, build and do other things. Now, the next cool thing is DeFi. Decentralized finance is the code that's in between some of this. OpenSea has no token. They just allow you to trade back and forth. But when eBay first started, there was always a problem when the buyer didn't want to send money first and the seller didn't want to send the product first because there needed to be some sort of trust or intermediary in the middle to collect both items and then distribute them to each other now you have virtual or digital money and you have virtual or digital items here and you can trade them with a simple line of code in between where the code basically says um, 13.5 ethereum if the code receives the contract, the smart contract, the DeFi smart contract is a line of code that says, if I receive 13.5 Ethereum, then this person is willing to sell their parcel for that. So give the 13.5 to this person and give the parcel to this wallet. So each wallet gets the opposite thing because of the line of code. So I can trade this at two in the morning. I can trade it whenever I need to because it's not a manual process for OpenSea to come here and, and exchange this. I have the money right now. I sent the money to that wallet. It landed in the wallet. There's no um, money sitting at OpenSea for a while and then transferring to the new wallet. It's, it's all done right on Ethereum and OpenSea is only pulling the data from Ethereum to display it here. So um, the DeFi smart contracts allow you to do all the buying and selling on these websites and the buying and selling of the fungible tokens too. There's a smart contract here that allows me to trade these tokens at any point in time because people are putting up for sale and people are putting their um, people are basically putting up their Ethereum to buy and people are putting up their tokens to sell them at the same time and people are trading them all day long, day or night, weekend or weekday. 
It doesn't matter when you decide to do it, you can always trade these tokens at any time because of DeFi. But the entire company is not decentralized just yet. They're trying to be, but they aren't yet. Um, the decentralized finance, each smart contract, this is one of many smart contracts. They're going to create more smart contracts. I was just trying to give you some understanding of what's going on under the hood and how you could sign into all of these websites and start earning without actually transferring too much money to Coinbase or needing to use a passport or anything to get involved. This whole system of, of Ethereum was created in the first place so that people could sign in um, without access to a bank, without access to money already. So once you sign in to MetaMask and you can start earning tokens, like I was saying, that um, creates a whole new atmosphere and economy where people can basically, a 16-year-old can basically sign in to MetaMask, create a new wallet, and start working in virtual reality on this parcel as a customer service representative for everyone that comes into this parcel to look at the new Nike shoes on display. And the person can be working and collecting reward Nike tokens as they're talking to other people about their shoes and about the newest display of shoes on the market. So that can be repeated to all kinds of different businesses and um, sales meetings and things like that on these parcels that allow people to actually come here and start working right away and collecting tokens and then using the tokens to trade on Uniswap. And then once they have the Ethereum and the different tokens, they can go buy things on OpenSea and Rarible and they can collect more rewards and they can play games and correct, collect other rewards. So um, there's quite a system going on here. And the DeFi contracts are allowing these things to be traded peer to peer without any intermediary. The intermediary is actually just a line of code, which is called a contract that basically accepts from both and then distributes to both sides once it accepts. So um, I hope you learned something about Ethereum.